Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm in Atlantic City, and today we're going to check out Harrah's. Harrah's is located on the bay side of Atlantic City, not the boardwalk. Its closest casino neighbors would be MGM's Borgata and the Golden Nugget. Boardwalk casinos are less than a 10-minute car ride away. If you want to visit the boardwalk, you can take a jitney if you don't have a car, or there's also Uber, Lyft, and taxis. We are using self-parking today. We're going to go check in. I'm spending the night here. It's a Friday night. It is currently the beginning of October 2023. Harris gets a lot of hate. If you look at TripAdvisors or Yelp, a lot of people give it one star. I'm here to see it for myself and give you an honest review. Check-in was a mess. It was a long line. The kiosks weren't working. I was like, oh, geez, <laughs> this is going to go bad. But the line moved pretty fast. The comp room that I received is in the Bayview Tower. My room was on floor 14, which has access to the waterfront tower too. When I got off the elevator, I was like, wow, the waterfront tower and the Bayview Tower on this floor are connected. The waterfront tower is taller though, so it does not connect through all the floors. Okay, we are checking out a regular room at the Bayview Tower in Harris. Clunk. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited. I'm totally a Tropicana fan, but their comp rooms really don't compare to this. This is huge. It's really nice. There's a lot of light in this room too. Only problem with Harrah's is it's not on the boardwalk, which could be good or bad, depending on if you want to be on the boardwalk. The windows is, I didn't even open all the windows all the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's a very big window, which I love. The windows were not floor to ceiling windows, but the windows themselves expanded all the way to the walls. It's a cloudy day over here, but Harris had, in my past experience, had beautiful sunsets. My last day here was in a one bedroom suite in the waterfront tower. It was awesome. I will link that video at the end of this video in the playlist. Just click on it. It'll take you right to the video. There is a walkway that will take you to the other casinos, but I personally have never used the walkway before. Okay, back to my tour. This room's really nice. They have five towers here. I believe this one in the waterfront are the newest ones and the most desirable to get. But it's nice that it's got a couch and chairs and this. <laughs> this. Oh, let's see, it does have a refrigerator. I just literally ch checked in a couple minutes ago. All right, cool. It's got a fridge. Receiving an empty refrigerator in your room is pretty common in Atlantic City, unlike Las Vegas. Um, coffee makers as well. The only place I never experienced getting a coffee maker was Ocean, but they say if you ask for one, that they will provide you with one. Mini bar fridges are very rare in Atlantic City. Safes are very common. You find those in most rooms as well. The bathroom in Bayview Tower is very impressive. This was actually nicer than some of the suites that I've stayed in. This is just a regular room, but as I mentioned before, the waterfront tower and the bayfront tower are the newer towers of Harrah's and the most desirable to stay in. I heard some people complaining about the water pressure, but I had a wonderful bath and shower there. I really had a great experience. The room was very mechanically sound. There was no peeling wallpaper. Any, it was actually pretty good and it was clean. I guess it could happen anywhere like where you have like a bad housekeeping situation, but my experience was very good. The only noticeable flaw that I saw was that the shower floor and drain was showing a little bit of wear, but it wasn't a deal breaker for me. If you really try, you can find flaws in any room you stay in. It's just a matter of like, how much time and effort are you going to think about it? You know, it's like you could spend your whole day trying to change your room or you could clean it up or ignore it <laughs> and carry on with your day and have a great time. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my madness. I travel all the time. So I started making these videos in this channel to document my stays and to help other people figure out where they want to go and what hotel they want to stay in and what tower they want to stay in. So I hope this is interesting to you. If you like this, I'm going to leave more of my videos at the end of this video and please subscribe to my channel. Okay, come join me for a walk. I did not stay in any of these towers, but I want to show you the different towers that you can stay in in Harris. This is where you're going to find the atrium suites. I have personally never stayed in this tower, but if you want to see one of these suites, my friend Jeff from the Neoc channel, it's N-U-Y-A-W-K. He has a video tour of the room if you want to go check out what one of the rooms look like in this tower. I absolutely love to explore. I didn't know this, but the Atrium and Laguna Tower are connected. Even though these towers are older and in a totally different area of Harrah's, 
the theming seems to be a little similar where it's kind of the blues and the purples similar to the ocean and bay towers so the rooms themselves are going to be smaller and more dated i have personally never stayed in any of these three towers so if you want to add any information if you would like to share your experience at harris good or bad please feel free leave it in the comments below i would love to hear from you i always like to check out the views from all the windows this is not my favorite location. This is probably my biggest hang up with Harris is where it is. Okay, that's enough of the rooms and the towers and the location. Now we're gonna focus on the casino, the restaurants and entertainment at Harris. Here's a look into Eden Lounge, which is on the casino floor. It is open seven days a week, opens at four during the week, 12 o'clock on weekends and live bands or DJs on the weekends as well. And this is a bar that you could partake in some video poker too. I have to make my donation to the casino. Here we are, down at the casino. Let's see what happens. And then, <laughs> put $50 in. We'll see what happens. Oh, come on, give mama a break. Mama wants dinner. I had promised myself if I didn't lose the full $50 that I would take myself out for a nice dinner. It was restaurant week here and Gordon Ramsay was having an awesome deal. I ended up losing the $50, but I decided to go anyway because when else can you go to Gordon Ramsay's restaurant for $40? Seriously, three course meal for $40. Can't not do this. I did not have a reservation, but they were able to seat me in the lounge area. They had a regular menu as well, but this was the restaurant week menu, which was a set menu, which I was nice. super excited about. This nice hot. Beautiful. This is a butternut squash soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm excited I came here and I'm excited I was able to get in. And look at this. I gotta say, I was very guilty that I was here without my husband because he's been dying his whole life to try this. He's a huge Gordon Ramsay fan and I'm like, well, I'll have to send him a picture. <laughs> it was delicious. This whole meal was fantastic. I ate every single bite of everything, and that is completely rare for me to do that. If you have seen my Caesars in Atlantic City videos, you've probably seen that I wasn't a big fan of the restaurant over there. He has a pub and grill. This one over here in Harris, excellent. And here's a look at the sticky toffee pudding. Oh my God, I thought it was gonna be like bread pudding. This was fantastic. I was like, what? <laughs> delicious and all this for $40 I'm telling you guys restaurant week or beginning of October great time to come to Atlantic City my gosh that was so good and I am so full we have to go take a walk and I'm going to show you more of the property but first we have to get some slots I still have a donation to make they gave me comp rooms I have to put some money in these things and hopefully win a couple dollars The casino itself at Harris is very fun. It has a combination of newer and older games. A lot of games are really fun to play. I did pretty well. I gotta say, I probably like played as much money as I won. So I ended up breaking even at the end of the day. Coming up, I'm gonna be taking you into the Harris showroom. I was able to get comp tickets to The Price is Right. That was so funny. <laughs> Now I'm looking to see what's open for breakfast. This is a peek into Coastal Craft Kitchen and Bar, which is conveniently located right next to their humongous pool. It looks awesome, doesn't it? It's all tropical, glass enclosed. It's like a big atrium inside. It's wonderful, but it's it's an extra charge. So don't get too excited. It's also 21 and up in the in season. It's actually a nightclub. It's a day club on the weekends. On the Saturdays, I think they have a DJ. You know, it's the kind of place that's kind of like a vibe. There is also a seasonal family pool on site, which is only open, obviously, when it's warm. If you're not staying at Harrah's, you could still go to the indoor pool, but you have to pay more. Look at this. I've never seen this before. It's a vending machine with like real food in it, like cheeseburgers. Like, really? wow, wow. <laughs> never saw that before. There aren't really a lot of good dining options in Harrah's as far as fast food. There's some places, but nothing I've thoroughly enjoyed. There is no food court, but there is Taza, and I always enjoy Taza. Taza is open 24 hours, and it has everything you could possibly need. 
Where do you enjoy dining when you go to Harris? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. I was thinking about getting some breakfast here, but to be quite honest with you, I'm still stuffed for my dinner at Gordon Ramsay's from last night. That was really more food than I normally eat in like in a whole week. But I do have to check out over here. I'm gonna go check into Flagship and I'm gonna come back for the Price is Right show. Here is a look at what was open the day that I was there visiting. Atlantic City is very seasonal and a lot of times things can be closed. And now for the Price is Right, I am very grateful that they gave me comp tickets and enjoyed the whole experience a lot, but the whole setup was a shit show. The line to get in was insane. It was kind of caving right into like where Laurel Lounge line was. It was a mess, but it was really fun. Unfortunately, I could not tape the show, but I really wanted to show you guys what the theater looks like. This is my first time here. I was so excited to be able to see this. First 20 minutes is getting the audience all warmed up with some singing and dancing. If you see anybody you know on the screen, tag them, share it with them. They may want to see themselves dancing, but the price is right. During his 35 years as host, The Price is Right became one of the most beloved game shows of all time and earned Bob a special place in TV history and in America's heart. Are you ready? Welcome to the fabulous concert venue in Harris. When the show was over, it was conveniently happy hour time. So we're going over to La Strada. I believe the happy hour is at the bar only. That's where I sat and the prices were very fair. La Strada is open Friday till Tuesday, and the restaurant opens at 5 p.m. The bar is open at 4. But seriously, you can't beat the deal I just had at Harrah's. I had a comp room. I had a $40 steak dinner at Gordon Ramsay's. I broke even in the casino. I had free tickets to Price is Right and Happy Hour here. I mean, what a great experience for a very low price. I did really well, I think. And I sincerely hope you do well too at Harrah's or any resort that you choose to go to in Atlantic City. But whatever you do, make sure you go. Click on my playlist to the left to check out my other resort tours. So many options, so little time. Just make sure you book that trip, pack your bags and go. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Safe travels to you.